Here's how to add light rays like this to your videos. I'm gonna be using LumaFusion on my iPad, but the same technique is gonna work in Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, and a lot of other video editors as well. Drag the video onto the timeline, and the first video always snaps to the bottom most layer, so move it up a few layers so that another video can be placed underneath it later on. Tap the pencil icon here to go into the edit panel. Then all the way on the top right, there's key effects and apply the light luma key. Then come down here and tap reverse. And this is going to erase everything in the video except for the brightest parts of the image. Now come over here to blur effects and click on zoom blur. You can also go to color, click on original and adjust the hue, saturation and brightness. Now go back to the main editor and take the original video clip from the folder here and drag it down onto the timeline and place it beneath the video clip that we were just working on. And now you have some really cool light rays, but there's still one more step to making this light ray effect actually interact properly with the video, which is keyframing. So make sure you have the top video clip selected and go back into the edit panel. Click on the zoom effect and you can move the source point of the light rays so that it's positioned directly over the sun or whatever the light source is in your video. If the camera is moving around like it is in this shot, you're going to have to create keyframes to keep the lighting effect in the right position. To do that, make sure you're at the beginning of your video and click on the X to add a keyframe and position the effect right over the light source. Move forward on the video timeline a bit and if the camera has moved at all, then you can reposition the effect and this will automatically create a new keyframe. When I was recording this video, I tried my best to keep the sun in the center of the video so that I wouldn't have to create a ton of keyframes for this effect but it's totally okay if your camera is moving around more, you're just gonna have to create more keyframes in order to keep the effect in the right spot. I had to add about a dozen keyframes to my video and here's the results. If you found this video helpful, then go check out some of the other videos on my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one.